Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So before we get into the video, let's just do the usual spill. I'll try and do it as quick as possible and it never works out, does it? So if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Leave me a comment down below what you think of this seller. And um, if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I just got it done quick. <laughs> right, so this week's... Let me just change me... I've already got them all uh, the next few weeks written down. I mean, trusty notebook. I don't know if some of you might not have seen this. It's one I diamond painted myself. I absolutely love it. So, yeah. Right, so this week's seller is, right, it's um, another little letter one, I'm afraid, because I don't know if it's an actual word or not or if it's just a rough translation or something right so this seller is x u e q i x a o z u direct sales store i ordered this on the 8th of march it arrived the 27th of march so it's a bit longer than some of the sellers we've had but a lot quicker than two i've ordered back in february I'm still waiting for two, but I ordered back in February. One, not quite so that their fault, but still the other one I'm still waiting for. This cost me £3.19. I saved 7p for using coins. Had an AliExpress, because I ordered this in a sale, had AliExpress savings of 41p, and I paid 54p tax. So the total was £3.25p total for this diamond painting. And they had free shipping as well. So, yeah. And I um, sent them the picture and they did reply and said they'll get it sent and made as sort of quick as possible, which is fantastic. Didn't send me an example, but to be honest, when you know what the size is you're ordering, it doesn't really, you know, yeah, an example would be nice to show you, you know, thingy, but this one hasn't, which is absolutely fine. So, Let's open up. I have had a quick glance, just literally opened it up, had a glance, said, yep, canvas, yep, drills, and that was it. So I haven't looked at the canvas, haven't looked at the drills, haven't looked at the toolkit, nothing else. So that is all I've looked at. So let's open it up and see what we get inside. There you go. Right, I have to make sure. <laughs> Because the other day, when I recorded one of my last videos, I actually pressed slow-mo. So it started off fine, and then it went to slow motion, and the whole thing, I was talking like this, and I was like, oh my god. So, I am making sure that I have recorded it correctly, because I have gotten paranoid. Really, really paranoid. So, yeah. But... I think I've done it right this time because the last thing I want is for it to be on slow motion again because it actually takes up a lot of memory in the phone. Right, so and the toolkit. Right. Oh, we've got another pink one. Right, so quickly do the toolkit. Right, so we get quite a few baggies this time, which is quite good because some sellers we actually haven't had many baggies at all. Sometimes they're only selling like five or like 30 colours. But they sent quite a few, which is good. Two bits of pink wax, pink grip, cheaper tweezers, pink pen with a free multi placer grip. And a green boat. I'm saving these and I'm going to give, be giving them all to my nephew's nursery so they can use them for paints. So that's what I am doing with them. So the drills, and I am very intrigued about the canvas. So, and you can see at the back of the canvas how many colours I've got. I can't see the paper. T 
21 colours. Let's see if we've got some of our free tens, and I don't think we have, so I think we're back to 3371. No, no free tens, which is fine. So I'll just free free seven one again for the darkest. The bags do feel like nicer quality bags, which is you know the drill bag, you know, these bags are harder for them to split everywhere. little tiny bit of junk but overall they are very very good you I'll show you in a second is the colour and it looks like it's going to be 745 this time I didn't show you what I was going to show you did I there's an escapee in it can you see one random I can't see on the phone. There. One random escapey drill. A round drill. Their light colours look fantastic. There we go. They do look very, very nice. Well, obviously, we got them again in those really annoying one use bags. Last week's setup, really enjoyed because they came in the resealable stick, the little zippy bags. You know, it's just so much easier for. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if it, if it turned out cheaper for them to buy them in these little bags or if it's cheaper in these little bags or is it cheaper for them to buy them in you know the bulk i thought it'd be cheaper for them to buy them in the bulk and not in these little plastic bags you're not paying for these but yeah you're paying for these but i don't know i'll be quite interested to hear that right so i'll put them little zippy bags back in with the drills so that i don't lose them because i don't have many at all because i'm still waiting on some oh i just kicked the tripod well done Gemma. right so this feels like it's going to be poured glue This looks very familiar. Right, I am going to get the other one that I had from a different company and see if they're the same. Because this looks like it is exactly the same. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Ah, it was that one that was, I ordered the wrong size. Right, excuse me, I'll just get on my chair and pull it down. Right, so. Right. Let's uncover the a chart doesn't want to come at all here we go right mm. 
no it is different we've got com actually a lot of different colors right so the first we've got the the 25 by 25 is 22 colors there's 21 colors but we have got different a lot of different numbers like the symbols are all very similar because they mainly use letters over like symbols and all that but for example number one um on the one i've already done is three five six three hundred four hundred three five one see yeah so we've got a lot of different numbers on this one compared to this one so it is technically a different one they still might be a sister company. Yeah, there might still be like a sister company of this one. But it looks like where I've ordered a different size, we've got different colours, which is good. See, this one didn't come in a box or nothing, so I reckon they are just the sister companies. Oh, just put it straight back on the wall. So, I will be interested. Oh, I've done it again. Oh, I keep doing that, don't I? I'll be very interested to see if these drills are different when they go on. Because, obviously, the other one, we had some, uh, what do you call it, quite a few gaps, which was quite disappointing for a lot of us. Overall, it was very, still very nice to work with and everything. But it was the gaps that really did put the downer on it. So I wonder if they use different drills to the other company. Or they do use the same drills. That's a bit better. Right, so print is very cl clear. It's not the most vibrant. I think if I remember rightly, the other one wasn't the most vibrant. But it was still a very, very clear print. Which is nice. I shall hold it up for you all. Still a very, very clear print. I cannot grumble with the print at all. You might be able to see better if I actually pull back the sticky a bit. So it is still a very clear print you can exactly see everything clearly very nice sparkly canvas it is poor glue which i know some of you do like and yeah so it'll be quite interesting to see how this one comes out compared to the other one let me just check something okay can remember what color 3855 was for some reason i was thinking it was white but I'm thinking of something else that's why a different number. But yeah, overall, um this is gonna be another interesting one to do to see how I like it is to the other one, even though we've got different colours. So yeah, it'd be quite interesting to see because we've got a bit more of like pink. Again in this. I could be wrong. Well, I could, it could be in there hiding somewhere. I think that's the one I was looking for. It's like a... It is a bit like a pink. It's quite bright. So, yeah. So, let's get cracking on with this one. And also, I'll do a bit of chat and that again. And we shall... I'm trying to cut down on the old time lapse because I know not everybody likes the time lapse. I've got to do time lapse for last week's video. I was just too busy trying to get it done. I'm trying to get ahead of myself, I am. So I was really nicely ahead of myself and then I got all those doubles and then I was waiting on them for ages and everything else. So yeah. 
So let's get cracking on with this and let's see how it comes out. All right, guys. Right. So I thought I'd start this one or start the whole talk a bit further along. <clears throat> As I thought you might want to see a different part being done, so the same part each time. So I thought that might be a little bit different for you all. I'm going to try and keep the chatting down a bit more because I found that I'm using way too much of my phone memory and have to end up deleting loads of stuff and everything to be able to get the video saved onto my phone and then to be able to load it up to YouTube. So I'm going to keep it <clears throat> a bit lower, you know, less the chat. So yeah so i've done this so far and the draw is going on very nicely i am enjoying it um this is a lot like the other seller it really is it's just the colors are slightly different but i was interested to see with the slightly different colors to the first one to see how it looked so i was thought right i will get this and I just thought it'd be nice to compare them actually. Because this one did have different colours to the other one. So I think it you know, could be quite interesting again. I am really trying to keep my um, you know, my placings really accurate and everything. Because we found on the other one. Because obviously where I always use my full multi-placer. We always have issues of... The gaps so i'm really really trying to avoid a whole load of gaps because of how i place but yeah i am enjoying this one again i think it's coming on very nice so right so what shall we talk about this time i'm i don't know um, something a bit spooky, I think, actually. <clears throat> a bit different. So, I used to, many, many, many years ago when I was younger, we're talking about... <sighs> 15 years ago, something like that, 15 a long time ago anyway I used to work for a company called British Home Stores it's now closed down here in the UK but it was a really big shop when it was about um, we I used to work in the CAF and it was built the store itself was built where uh, methodist church used to be and it used to be I'm pretty sure it used it used to be haunted it was really 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 spooky at night and um i worked my when i was there i worked my way up from being a little saturday girl to becoming full time, to becoming a manager. So I was a manager at about 19, 20, some of that. Pretty young I was for a manager. And I worked my way up. And obviously, I used to be there quite often, be the last one in the cafe on my own, doing the paperwork and all stuff like that. So, it used to be really, really creepy at night. In the evenings, it used to be extremely... I used to hear voices and all stuff like that. I'm pretty sure there was something there. And, um... We... I used to sit there all the time and just hear really weird noises. I used to hear, like, just voices and whispers and all stuff like that it used to be really weird 
but it was my my first place I worked and I absolutely loved the job and everything until we had a a store manager just did not like me so I was like right okay if you don't like me you're gonna try and keep me getting in trouble for things I didn't do so I was like right I'll leave with you pay me for the next 12 the next three three months and I will leave and get out and they're like, yeah, okay. So I got out of there. I went to London. I absolutely love working in London. Actually, talk about London. When I was working for British Home Stores, when the 7-7 seven, seven bombs went off in London, we... We're meant to be in London that day for a meeting um, for a big company night like meeting or something for the cap managers. And um, I remember being at work and having a lot of people calling me and everything, asking me if I was all right and everything. I said, well, like my, for example, my sister was at school that day, heard about, you know, the bombings that happened in London. And um, she rang me and said, have you heard about what's happened in London? Well, I, was, I lived, at, lived at home at the time. I was like, yeah, I have. It's awful. And she said, I can't believe it. You were meant to be in London today. Because obviously I had to get off at that at King's Cross train station, so I could have been there when it happened, and it was really weird because obviously we were there. It got moved to the next week, a week later. So we would have been in London when it all happened. It was a very surreal moment. And my sister, bless her, she was, she was at school. It was about nine years between us in age. And like, when she heard about the bombing and she burst out crying, she was like, my sister was meant to be in London today. But her meeting got cancelled and it was just the weirdest moment going. How them just changing a week. That was it was spooky that was really weird and um i'll never forget that you know it was just so sad that people think that it's right to do things like that but yeah that's the maybe a bit of in a bit of karma so when I, um, I used to work in London many years ago as well. When I decided to leave because the commute was getting too too much for me, I thought, right, I will go and get myself a little job uh, somewhere just to keep some bills paid and all that. And um, until I find like another job or whatever. So, first of all, I was working for a company called Little Chef. And I work all the hours God sent there, but the pay per hour there was rubbish. So I thought, right, I'll get myself a second job working night somewhere. And um, the Little Chef manager, he didn't like me at all. He just really had it out for me. He was an absolute a-hole. So I thought, so I was on into him, I told him, right, um, just so you know, I have a second job, but it doesn't collide with this job at all. I'll be working nights in this other job, and then I will be obviously doing days here. And for the moment, I he, was, uh, he said, well, you can't, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, most well, at least I can, you know, I need to earn more money. I've got bills to pay and everything. So 
I don't have a choice but to get to take out a second job. So this manager was like, well, we don't know what else what all that else what else should be taken. I was like, no, all I need is a sweet tea to keep me going, you know, a bit of sugar in my system. And he accused me of taking D R U G S. And as you can imagine, I flipped out. I was like, I was absolutely disgusted. You know, I've seen what them things do to people. And yeah, I stay clear of anything like that. So we, I, was in the, I went into work the next day, you know, at Little Shed. And I noticed that my hours had been cut down from, I was working, written down for five days a week there, to one day a week, one shift a week. So he'd cut me down despite me, even though I had to take out a second job to pay bills. So he was a very, very spiteful person, this manager. And um, and he really was. So in the end, well, I, there was a couple of um, older ladies I worked with, and I trusted them. I didn't trust many people in that place, but I trusted them too. So I spoke to them both. You know, said that he's cut me down and everything. So we were like. They're like, right, we're going to help you. we we'll support you through everything you want to do in this situation. So I was like, fantastic. So they started keeping an eye out and ear out of things to help gather evidence. Obviously, I printed off all the previous however many months rotors to prove that he cut me down from a month, from working five days a week to one day a week. As punishment for taking out a second, for having to get a second job to pay bills. He left emails laying around about me. He really, you know, did leave. He was, he really messed up, you know. He, so DC Lazy would copy the emails and everything as evidence for myself and everything and they would write down like conversations if they he slated me or anything in front of other members of staff he would really like they would they would make notes and everything really backing me up so after about a month i had a lot of evidence against this manager of bullying and everything, singling out. So I gathered all my evidence and writ a complaint against this manager. And um, we, I spoke to one of the letters, so I showed the ladies, said, right, I sent the letter off to head office, and obviously in my letter, I had to state that I did not want the area manager to investigate it. As the area manager was his mother. So, as I felt like I would not be treated fairly because of the family tie. So, head office got this letter and everything. Had a phone call back. And they said, right, we're going to set up an investigation meeting at another branch and this our area manager will be holding your, the meeting. So I was like, fantastic. And so I, one of the other, one of the older ladies who I work with, she was off that day. So I said, could you come with me? She said, yep, yeah, she'll come with me as my witness in the meeting to 
make sure nothing was handled incorrectly and everything. So I, so we went in, I presented all my evidence, explained everything. And showed them exactly, you know, how I was treated differently to other people, treated unfairly, all stuff like that. And they said, well, what do you want about this? I said, well, if I'm not paid my lost wages, then I will be taking the company to tribunal unfair treatment and stress um mental you know everything basically and um they were like right okay and she obviously said she had to go and deliberate and everything and i was like right that's fine she said we'll have a Answer you for you by the end of the next day. So excellent. They called me the next day and said that they had sided with myself and they agreed that I was treated unfairly and they had to pay me my lost wages and it was about about a month and a half worth of lost wages as he'd cut me down from five days a week to one day a week and the reason why he got away with that because that company had loads of zero hour contracts and i think zero hour contracts are, are awful they do not protect the worker at all a case in point with what the manager did to me and yeah so they had to pay me out pay me for the lost wages. So they knew that if I took them to tribunal, they would lose and they'd have to pay out a lot more money. So I definitely, definitely would have won against them as they just, he was just in a, and um, he actually ended up getting a bit of karma back. And this is, I'm going to sound horrible when I say this, but it's karma. That's why I see it. He deserved it. He um, was cooking one day and he decided to stick his hand in the fryer. Big, you know, old fryer. So it's not like you could do it on accident. But yeah, he decided to stick his hand in the fryer. It must be just an attention thing or something. But yeah, he stuck his hand in the fryer. One of the girls at work rang me and said, oh, he'd suck his hand in the fryer. A bit of karma there for you. I so that was. But yeah, he absolutely deserved it. He was really a piece of work. So I used to change, I used to wear like those little, like little slip-on shoes to wear there. And I used to change into trainers to go and like clean up litter pick in the car park and all that and he used to have a go at me for it even if there's snow on the floor he'd be like are you actually stupid but he was just controlling and yeah he just did not like me and i don't really care to be honest because i am me and if you don't like me i don't care really because i Spent so many years of trying to please so many people and trying to be the nice one and everything. And I was <laughs> just realised I was just wasting so much time and energy doing that. So I was like, yeah, there's no point anymore. Be me. And if people like me, they like me. If they don't, they don't, basically. So, yeah, right, we've hit oh, 19 minutes, so I've hit over the 15 minutes. So I'm going to stop, go a bit of time lapse, because otherwise I am going to not have enough. I'm going to cut out half the talking again on the this talking section. So, yeah, let's 
carry on with a bit of time lapse. So our latest ladybird is done. Um, I honestly do think that this is definitely a sister company to that one I ordered a 25 by or yeah 25 by 25 by mistake. So here it is. Um, I did really try to keep the drills at central and I was using the um, the old strainer tools to try and keep them thingy all lined up and everything. But yeah, I again, as I said before, I do think the canvas is either printed slightly too big or the drills are slight, I mean literally point millimetre, point, point of a millimetre. Like literally it's the most teeny about amount but it definitely does like can cause gaps in the long run and like i said with the other one the drills i cannot fault the drill quality is excellent it really is um we get tons move that out so hopefully you can see quite a lot of spares as you guys can see so yeah, we definitely did see, you know, I do see that, I definitely do see, I do think it, it the gap, like, it's not math, I wouldn't say it was massively gappy, but I would say that the drills are too, slightly too small for the canvas, if that makes sense. That is just, you know, I know somebody said that, the other one they used to store the foot all the time that's fine i wasn't honestly it's not the quality it's not the quality of the kit you know the quality is fantastic it really is it's the drills are too small for the canvas it's not like it's just, it's just a pure fact that obviously when they're printing it up or they've ordered in the wrong size drills the whole time they're not realized it's not like necessarily a bad thing. It gives you space for to sort out errors and everything. But I honestly did try to keep the drills as spaced out as I can. Because they are like a clear there's clear lines all the way through it. Like with the DPF one I just did, the drills snuck did sit together really snugly. But this one, there is a clear gap. And that is that's just a fact. You know, it's not necessarily saying it's a bad thing it's just a pure fact that you know if you do put on singly you've got more chance of keeping the whole thing even but when you're like me and a lot of others we tend to work with our multiplacers as we prefer them because i find i'm more tidy with a multiplacer than i am with just using the single point and i did try using the single point as much as i can until it just drove me bonkers so honestly you know it is they are very they do have a very good quality product i'm not doubting that whatsoever it's the drills are slightly too small for the canvas or they're printing the canvas slightly too big for the drills and they haven't realized if they can just shrink it that yeah i, I wouldn't i would much prefer the canvas to come up small to be half a centre smaller for them to shrink it just slightly together to make the drills that little bit closer together. And I will show you exactly what I mean. You know, I, it has come out really nice. Let me turn the light pad off first. It has come out really, really nice. I can't fault the quality of their product. You know, it is more the feel fact that it's just slightly too big. Let's give me eyes close. I hope you guys can see this because obviously I cannot see what you guys are seeing when I'm holding it up like this. But yeah, I honestly do think it's just the canvas is just slightly printed too big for the drills. The quality, I can't fault the quality, they are very fantastic quality they really are you know they can they do take pride because this canvas is nice and thick as well 
and it's got glitter on the canvas which is really nice to see you know we don't get that very often you know that is literally you know the only thing that has let them down and it's not so much of a big let down because if you do do one at a time it will be a lot more even than what i would put on with my multi-placer drill my multi-placer end so yeah i honestly do think that if they can just slightly squeeze it down i'd rather it come up half a centimeter too small because they've pushed it all together to make the drill tip perfect than having it just a bit gappy it's not terrible gaps but it does show because you can see i have really really i really did try on this one to try and keep it as close together as i could you know but if i squeezed it all up that way it'd come up brilliant and I'd, it'd be quite interesting to see how much they could just take off squeeze it together but yeah it's not necessarily a bad thing but because obviously at a distance you can't see the gaps at all so yeah i am really pleased with it i do like it it's just a shame they can't just squeeze it together slightly bit more because they do have a really nice you know quality product on their hands so yeah that's about it i know people are going to say that they order from this company all the time and they love the quality the quality i am not disputing whatsoever it's just slightly too big for the print the print is slightly too big for the drills so you need to get bigger drills or slightly squeeze it down all right so that's it for this week's video um if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up if you haven't already please subscribe and let me know in the comments down below what you think of this seller so yeah thank you very much for watching everybody and i shall see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye